So we're playing Power Park right here. Going into the sushi mode. Here you get your salary cap. You can see now that I'm level 10, I can get 11,000 stars. We're up to 10, 2, 4, 8, so we could probably add like one more good person, basically. So here, go in. This is our pool. I think the pitchers are like very, very powerful because they can kind of carry your whole team. So honestly, I think we saw at the end there I ran out of pitching because we just did a long run and abandoned ship at level 41. I think it might be a good idea to add another guy, but then at the same time, we also had times where our offense was pretty weak. But I guess we'll go with the pitcher for now. So we actually will have more room to add another guy too. So you suck at math, I guess. Also, I thought my guys were better than they were. So I don't, there's no need to add bullpen guys, I'd say, because if you have guys with good stamina, you're gonna make it through the whole game anyway with your pitcher, so no need for the bullpen guys. Then we can add, looks like a 400-ish. Well, actually, because they're, these guys are actually like almost 200 stars, so you can get away with adding a good guy. 583 is our best guy, I think. Is Boone second base? Nice. Need one of those. That's looking good. Okay. Want to bring any items? No need. Save those. Oh, you get to basically start with four right off the rip. So I'll typically do no pitcher to start because you're facing really, really poopy teams and there's no need. I'd usually do like one good hitter, and then, like, I, I don't even know what the optimal, optimal strategy is at this point. Depends how far you're trying to go, I'd guess. But, because you, you'll pretty much get a good pitcher eventually. You get four guys out of the however many guys there were, you'll probably get one before the first boss, and even then, you'll probably be alright without it as long as you have good hitters. So, I think I usually go like two hitters, and then just like one of the fake starters get someone going, so we'll add him, and maybe one reliever, but we haven't decided yet, do, uh, we'll do Boone just to test him out, and then we'll do the uh, the crappy hitters of the people that we have, so I think there is uh, the worst one, we have Noose, and one other one, yeah, so hard. Because eventually those other guys will come. And then you basically have the three plates. You can see the next three plates and the next three plates, blah blah blah. You get the multiplier up top. You have your level in the bottom right corner, that level 10. And then you also have the uh, 36 cards left in your deck. You have over here your team, obviously. This is abandon your run and like quit, but you get your full amount of points once you do that. So if you lose, you actually get a penalty, which kind of sucks, but don't lose then. And then this is like save and quit if you want to come back to it. So I did that last night, and then we actually played a run before this and then abandoned at level 41. So, but the gold plates are always worth 125 it seems. And I've kind of just been playing the gold team every time, just get more points. It seems like the overalls of the teams are just like completely random. Doesn't even like reflect the plate quality. So, it could, you could be facing the worst team anyway and still getting more. We'll put in our guys right away. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Once you put them in, you can't take them out. So, honestly, I would have liked to stagger it a little bit. But we'll be alright. You have these hearts here. Uh, after five games, basically they go out of your deck until you reshuffle your deck. So you get two people after every single game. You do your order however you want. I'll just hit the most at best possible. Start up the game. So again, these teams early are very, very bad. So it's fine not even having those guys in the lineup probably. And like the first couple of times you play this mode, you'll only have a very, very small star cap. Like you can only bring a couple guys anyway. So it's... Fine. 
in game you can see there's that seven on the right if i press x i take over this opportunity and play if i press circle it just keeps simming you only get seven tries the entire time to take over so you really have to pick and choose where you want to go typically not doing pitching because the pitcher can handle it by themselves and the worst thing that happens when you're pitching is they score and also the worst thing that happens when you're swimming is they score but taking over the hitting seems way more reward basically because a lot of times the simming they don't score runs for you oh, but see that kind of sucks because I took over an opportunity I didn't score so like every time I take over I'd like to be scoring a run if possible so here we still have two runners in scoring position, so it's some time to take over. And we get two RBIs there, so that was two opportunities. The first one we didn't score, but then we still scored on the next one, so it was still worth it overall. As long as you go one for one. That was an opportunity we had first and second no outs, and we didn't score. I could have taken over and maybe scored, but it's like you gotta give them a chance to try and sim but as you see they kind of suck balls so you might gotta do it yourself a lot of times unfortunately you also have to take out the pitchers yourself so like right now maybe you'd want to take them out but you can't until uh you get like a little extra pop-up for the touchpad or well, whatever it is on switch but here we get so hot i do like to do the opportunities with the good hitters but he's actually not that good so i'll leave it And then see, now you get the extra pop off for the touch touchpad, so we can pull him if you want, but we should be alright. Oh, yeah, he gives up a dinger. Very cool. Here we will pull him. But you gotta be very careful when you're clicking through this shit, because you very well could fuck it up and then uh, press X and then it's like, ah oh, crap, now you're uh, pitching or hitting and you didn't want to. So here we have two outs. Do you have a runner on second? But I know that if we don't score here, or I get out, then I just get to take over the ninth for five opportunities. I'd probably prefer that versus maybe getting a run here, but then only having four opportunities if I don't score next inning. So, sucks, but now we get five tries to score two runs. Oh, I hit right at him. And I'm really... Not a good start. Still a double. And again, these pitchers are very, very easy to hit early on, so. I said it a little bit before, too. I'm uh, on the couch today on the big TV. After I moved the PlayStation for some uh, junky ball and video cart last night, so playing on the, uh, the shitty setup right now. We got the dog in the lap, so we're still playing sushi. I wouldn't play PyroFest on expert like this, but playing this, hitting these types of pitches, very, very easy for the most part. And in extra innings, you will get two more opportunities. Good. Like here, I only have one more opportunity. But they could also very easily hit into a low play. So I kind of have to score here, or I lose, I would say. Ah, I should have. Should have. Ah, good. Ah, see, that sucks. Oh, he was hosed. It's very embarrassing. That's how you would play. <laughs> oh my god, they walked it off without me. I was talking so much shit. There we were. I just, I had already in my head chalked it up to an L. So that's when you know. That's pretty funny. Oh man. That's good.
funny because we just <laughs> made a super deep run and then we almost just lost game one. Very good. I guess it was worth putting all those guys in there because they did the, uh, they were the ones that scored those uh, extra run. After the game, if you were to win, you could lose like I almost just did. You get these little buffs. They're not usually gold abilities, they're usually like just buffs the stats and stuff. You can translate it if you really want, and you probably should, to be honest, but I'm very lazy. And I don't feel like whipping out my phone every time while I'm over here, so I just pick one that I feel like it. Obviously, if it's grayed out, you're not going to get it, so that one looks like it was a sad mood one. But we're still hoping that we get a pitcher in those pulls. That's the post game pulls. So those two people just get added basically to your hand, and you can only have 10 in your hand at once, but. Now I'm down to 34 in my deck, so there's still the 4 pitchers in there out of the 34 that we were hoping for. But again, you don't really need the pitchers that much early on. It's more of the, uh, the hitters. As long as you can score runs off those guys. Like I had a ba very bad game hitting and they still almost won. I put the people in. I could add this guy to my DH. Especially like with the people I have. However, I usually leave the DH slot open. In case, let's say I put another outfielder next time, and then I wanted to add, I got my other outfielder, and I wanted to add him, I wouldn't be able to add him unless I could play multiple positions, which is honestly another thing if you're making guys and you're specifically making them for this mode. If they can play like every position, that's sick because you can slot them in anywhere versus needing to like put them in the outfielder spot. So like I'll save my, uh, if I were to get another out shoot like one of these guys, put them in here next time, but then I don't have a slot for my real people. I could still put them in the DH slot and then move that guy to DH, blah blah blah. Boom. Hey. Wait, a lefty. Right. Bad. Look at that. We need a play. I should have played there, by the way. I'm just kind of mashing circle right now. I'm trusting the team on this one. Yep. Sitting lots of solo shots, I guess. Well, that's typically how the games go early. I don't know how we got that crazy game, game one, where I almost just choked, but early is a lot of just mash circle. Especially when your team's like a whole letter grade above. the plates. And the uh, the number up top next to the right of it is like how many turns the buff lasts. So like on this one, the top one lasts three turns, and then the other one that would last four turns that I can get. And obviously that's a good one to get, because uh, there's no red abilities because it was grayed out, probably for a pitcher thing. We don't have a pitcher, so I can't give it to it. Oh, we did get a pitcher there. Bookie is one of our pitchers, so looks like we'll have that guy to go in. Probably put him in after game five, so that way he'd be ready for the boss. Like, I could slot him in over for one of these guys and then bench this guy, but there's no point. Might as well just wait. Especially, like, make sure I have him for the latter half around one. But we will add a bullpen guy. down the middle. Wow. That just went into those trees. Jeez, at least 154. Sheesh. That's 505 feet, by the way. That was cool that was Can't even see the battery. As our guy Dish would say. I'll go far. 
Oh my god, I almost just dumb that dude walking. Poor guy. Yeah, and just mashing through. Unfortunately, we just give a three run shot because we suck balls. Keep him in there one more time. Two outs. And here we go. Oh, knuckleball action. Unfortunately, we don't score, but. Oh, shit. They got a backup guy. So if we don't score here, that was a rip because we just wasted two opportunities. But we get one. I don't know why I keep testing them. I just keep getting the same result. Just kidding. We'll still hit again because we still got two one runners scoring, two in scoring position. Get one. I'm not testing Power Pro Kun. Oh, oops, he's satisfied with that ending. Oh, well, we didn't get a chance anyway. Pull that ass. Uh oh. Yeah, swing it. We're swinging. Oh my god, they're trying to beam me. Oh wow, I didn't even see the dreads yet. From that angle. What's that? Here we go, try this again. Right, yeah. A lot of times they just give you second base. Why not? Why not? Okay, yeah. That's scoring. It's hard to tell when they're cutting it. Might as well. We're not going to have to... Swing away. I just felt like power swing in there. We're sending him. Man him. Oh, he's done. <laughs> Slow as shit. Well, that's the gist of it, to be honest. Like, I could go forever on the, uh, the games and stuff, but in terms of like cutting this for the YouTube, that's good enough for right there, so thanks to the people. But for us on the Twitch, it would be good. We'll keep going. At least for round one. I do want to eat lunch soon, so I'm very hungry. We'll do we'll do the first boss and then go. Uh shit. This would have been a good opportunity, but that means you get extra opportunities in game with the extra bat up there's also a weird one when I was playing yesterday where we had like some like demon thing show up and then like all the teams got boosted it was very annoying but I didn't understand what was happening so I just played the best team but nothing really happened it was just they were, they were good <laughs>